Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple UV texture mapping onto the default Blender cube they give you here. Uh, UV texture mapping is the most common form of texture mapping found in uh, computer graphics imaging and it's just a way to be able to tell um, the program exactly where you want a texture on your object and of course it's much more complicated if you have an object like a human face but this will give you the basic idea of how you need to go about doing texture mapping. So the first thing you need to do is um, move to the screen layout and choose the UV editing layout which will make it simple to show how the picture corresponds to the actual object. Um, in the 3D view you're going to want to change it to the textured shading mode so that you can actually see what your what the result will be before you have to render it. Um, so you have to have an actual image that you want to project onto the object um, so you can create that yourself using some sort of um, imaging software. You can pull it off the internet. Um, I'm just going to use a simple Batman logo today. Um, so you're going to go to image and then open. Go to your file and double click. Open it. I'm going to be using the Batman logo and I'm just going to um, my target today is to get the logo on one face of this cube and the rest is going to be a simple black so it's like a Batman box. Alright so um, what you're going to want to do is in the 3D mode go from object mode to edit mode have all of the faces and vertices everything selected in your object hit the U key which is a UV mapping menu will pop up and you're going to want to unwrap the object which is basically going to flatten the object so that you can see the individual faces laid out and so you can tell the image exactly where to go on your object. So uh, depending on what you're going for you're going to want to use one of these um, options but uh, the best thing to use for a cube since it's a very simple object is the smart project and what this is going to do is lay out our faces side by side so that we can see them. I'm just going to open my image again. And there we can see the faces lined up on top of the actual image itself. Now the great thing about the UV texture mapping is that you can actually grab the faces or the edges or the vertices and tell Blender exactly what you want it to look like and then you can check it out right here. So first we'll find which face that we want to have the logo and I want it to be this one. So it's going to be this one here and then we can grab it and we can scale it and we can rotate it just like any other object until you have the desired look that you're going for. And there, that looks about right. Now for the other cubes I'm just going to scale them, the other faces I'm just going to scale them down and place them somewhere on the black part of the texture so I'm not getting any of the uh, cut off from the logo. It doesn't really matter if they're overlapping or not, it just just as long as they're in, in on top of the part of the image that you want to display. Now all of the sides of this face except for this one should have black and this should have our logo. Now um, if you notice when all this is said, is said and done you can see it uh, in this window but if you try to render the image it's blank. So <clears throat> what you're going to have to do is go back in your default mode and um, adjust the texture of this cube and the texture is going to 
link the UV mapping to your the actual texture te associated with the material of your cube. So you already have the material. So what you're going to do is go into texture. You're going to add a new texture. Name it Batman. And um, you're going to go to the type and tell Blender that this is an image or a movie file. And then what you're going to do is go down to image and open the exact same file that you use for your UV mapping. Okay, there I have it. Um, now you're just going to adjust a few settings. You're going to go into image mapping and instead of repeat, you're going to tell Blender to clip the image because you only want it one time. Um, and then you also need to go down to the mapping panel right here. And for the coordinates, um, normally you use a generated, but since we're, we're using the UV mapping, we're going to go into generated, change it to UV, um, go into this layer option and hit UV texture. And now this is telling Blender to get our coordinates from for using the image from our UV mapping that we've already done. Now, if we render the image, There we have our logo on the front and black everywhere else. And actually this is a little bit chopped. So let's just go back in the UV editing panel. No, that's why, because we're not fully within the image. So we're just going to go to verti vertex mode, grab the vertices, and put them within the black area. Uh, well, now it's upside down, but Okay, so then we're just going to take this, rotate it, and there you have it. We have the completely black cube with the logo on one side, and um, we've done that by just telling Blender exactly what we want to show on which face according to our texture image.